Hi there, my name is Jeff Bull, Manager of Developer Advocacy. Hey, I'm Ansi Taurianen. I'm uh, Head of Product at, uh, and Engineering at Ekaho. It's really great to have you here. We're on the, the last day of Cisco Live. Yes. Uh, we were just talking about this a couple of minutes ago. It's been a lot of fun, um, and there's just been so much, so much to look at. Um, mm -hmm. And especially here in the DevNet zone, we're always looking for sort of the automation and developer angle for almost anything that we do. Right. Um, and so I thought it was really interesting to have have you over and specifically talk about Ekahal because you know I, I don't know that a lot of folks really fully understand how those two worlds marry. So if you wouldn't mind, kind of give us an overview of your organization, what you do, and then we'll talk a little bit more from there. Absolutely. Do you want the short version or the long version? Whichever one you want to give. Okay. <laughs> so let's start with the short one. Um, we are the fastest path to awesome Wi-Fi. That's the short version, right? So. What we actually do is that we are experts in uh, art of design and optimization, mm -hmm. and, and we create software products uh, for designing and optimizing the Wi-Fi networks, but we also create hardware devices for measuring the quality of the, of the networks. And um, you know, we've been working with Cisco and Meraki for years, mm -hmm. so, so we are a trusted partner, and uh, I think we are all in agreement that having Ekahau is, it makes the, makes the Wi-Fi networks work better and more reliable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can, so prior to coming to Cisco, I was, a, I, was, I, I was sort of a reformed network engineer. I was an engineer for many, many years, and I can remember multiple companies I worked with, uh, partners coming in to do RF surveys and things, but are always bringing Ekahau devices with them as oh, part of that. Okay. As part of that, so, so I, I've been around that so for a bit, which is, there's definitely a familiarity there. Um, I'd love to learn a little bit more about how how you view how like improving Wi-Fi. Right. I, I imagine that's a lot to do with not just hardware or software that you have, but how you're contextualizing the data that you can learn from a Wi-Fi environment and then right. use that to make real decisions. Okay. Um, so, first of all, it's great to know that you are our user. So, so that's that's always awesome. Wonderful to meet you. Um, so, we think our job in Ekaho is is to make network design and optimization as easy and fast as possible. So, so we are saying we have, you have three steps to, to great Wi-Fi. So for step one is, is that you great network starts with great design. After that, it needs to be validated. And then after that, it needs to be regularly checked that how does it perform. And um, in the first place, the, the design, how we intend that to work is that we have uh, our flagship software called AI Pro. So, so the idea there is that uh, it basically, it is an AI-based expert system that takes your requirements and your floor plan as an input, and based on that, it does tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of iterations to find actually optimal location, optimal number of access points in right locations with the right configuration. So that's the kind of the job is that it, it saves you tens of hours of work, of manual work. I don't know if you've done design yourself, but there's a bit of a work to it, right? You right. need to know where to place those access points and how to configure them, mm -hmm. and this basically eliminates that need. You can you can have the system create right. those for you. And I, I feel like it's, it's really easy to miss the impact of what you just said when you are a network engineer or you're working around Wi-Fi, um, any type of wireless signals, because what you just described in like designing a wireless network, it's really easy to not do well. It's <laughs> yeah, really easy to not I do it very well. It's actually sometimes harder to do it right. Yeah. When it's done right, like when we see things like Cisco Live and other mm -hmm. venues, and it's done well, things work. You can right. be on Wi-Fi and run production across Wi-Fi, but when that time and energy is not put into it with a trusted yeah. partner, it can be really challenging for a business. And for a long time, be kind of the technology kind of kind of bad rap because it just things weren't designed properly. Right. I, I think that's the biggest issue that there is no no in, not enough focus on designing beforehand. So you can spend tons of time in, in troubleshooting and figuring out what's wrong if you haven't done the previous right. the first step right. Yeah. So okay. So what happens is that after the network has been designed, it gets installed. Like you can see here, there's a number of access points. So after that, what is what happens is that you you validate the network. And I brought this with me because you know this. Uh, it's almost like a fashion accessory. Of People course. think it's. Uh, it looks. It looks fantastic. <laughs> you have the smiley face here. And look at this. It, you have Ekaha logo here. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So you use this. This is the most accurate Wi-Fi measurement device in the market. So you connect it uh, to your tablet or your phone with the cable, and then basically you just walk around. So so we, we say yeah. So, so we we use a slogan that if you can walk a dog, you can walk a sidekick. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I don't, well, I, I went one step further. Actually, I showed the video here where my dog is doing a survey. So even a dog can walk the sidekick. 
<laughs> I wonder if I could get my cat to do some wireless <laughs> yeah, service for me. I don't that think they pay. Be, that would be even more interesting. <laughs> that would be very yeah, interesting. Yeah. Um, so along with the hardware that you have, clearly yeah. is necessary to walk around and do service. Yes. There's obviously software that's involved. Yeah. You just mentioned someone on a tablet or on a phone. But I have to imagine that um, in, in your recent partnerships with Cisco and, and, mm -hmm. and Meraki and how you're working together with it, what does that integration look like? And how is that actually supporting you know, the, the organization as a whole? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great question. I'm happy you asked because that's a brand new thing we have been introducing here in the, in the event. So, so when you go, go for a walk with your sidekick, what it actually does is that it basically measures all of the access points it can hear in the environment. And while doing that, it also stores the location of the access points. So you, you've, been, you've been doing this work, so you know it. Um, when, you, when you set up a new network, you usually want to have 24-7 monitoring to make sure it, it's working as it, as it should, right? And the best way to do that is that you configure a dashboard. Now in that dashboard, you actually have to map every single location of the physical installation yes. to your screen, and usually you do that manually by using a serial number, mm -hmm. right? So when you have installed a network like this, you hope you remember to write down all the serial numbers <laughs> because it's gonna take you a while to climb and check them right. for a second time. And you're mm -hmm. gonna get to do it 100 times because there's at least 100 access points here. So, and, and you know, and, Serial numbers are very long and, and it's really easy to make a mistake. So in addition to climbing up and down 100 times, you may actually spend quite some time in typing those access points into a dashboard. So what we have done is that we have automated that part. So when you walk around, Sidekick stores that information and then you just click export in the app and it automatically provisions the floor plan, the access point locations and the serial numbers into the dashboard. So you have each of the access points exactly in the same location, in, in right location, and with the right identifiers. It's such an important part of that design because having accurate distances and heights mm -hmm. makes all the difference because if the tool that you're using is relying upon that information, it's Absolutely. going to dictate power signals and strength Absolutely. of these. And if that's not set up properly, it just won't work. You will, right. You'll have dead zones and things that you just don't anticipate, right. which can create troubleshooting problems for you later on, et cetera. Yeah. And something that you mentioned that I really love hearing is, especially being in the DevNet zone, where our whole mm -hmm. focus is teaching people how to understand what automation really can mean in a practical sense. Mm -hmm. You mentioning that this device and the software can pull this information automatically, which is mm -hmm. where automation comes from. It, what, we're, what you're effectively doing is automating away the things that the human mind are not great at. These right. highly repetitive processes right. that are prone to error. Well, let's let technology do that for us so that when you go back, you can be the, per the human can look at it and say, now we can make a really good contextual decision about that information. Mm -hmm. um, what's the next stage of that for a person? Okay, so that, the step number three is that you, you, you should do regular health checks to your network. Because even if it's been designed properly and even if we see validated that the actual installation meets the original plan, it won't stay great forever because the wireless environment changes all the time, mm -hmm. right? So, so they, there are new users, new clients, uh, you might get new neighbors with their own access points, the structures, you, there might be new structures in your, in your space, new furniture, things like that. Mm -hmm. There might be new interference sources. So the best way to avoid those issues is to do regular health checks, right? So, and, and for that, you use also the same thing, Sidekick. It measures your signal strength, but also interference and noise levels so that you know that how, are your, how is your network doing and if, if, if you need to take any optimization steps to fix it. Fantastic. But, so how, uh, when, a, when a client or someone is working with, whether it be Cisco or Meraki, when they're working with the devices, um, how does all that come together with the software that you provide and the integrations with Cisco or Meraki technology? What does that practically look like for someone on a daily basis? Um, so, we, we take as an input in our design tool, for example, we take as an input uh, all the uh, antenna patterns and, and many other uh, parameters from the access points. So when you are doing real life design with our solution, mm -hmm. when you are putting in the latest Meraki or latest Cisco access points, uh, three access points, it actually very accurately is capable of simulating the, for example, the coverage and other, um, other parameters on the, on the wireless network. So, so we, we do keep uh, we updating this information there constantly so that we have all the latest information uh, uh, from your products. Fantastic. So I have heard the term a couple different times. Right? You've kind of explained it, but I've, I've heard it in the wind, something about awesome Wi-Fi that, awesome. like, the awesome <laughs> Wi-Fi that, and I'd love to, I'd love to, as you kind of wind down, I'd love yeah. to understand how do you, as an as a, um, organization, as a house see 
the combination of these hardware tools with software to bring contextual information, how does that all actually create awesome Wi-Fi for a customer? Well, it's not really that complicated. If it's been designed properly, if it's been validated, you can, you can be sure that your foundation is great. And then you, then you have the 24-7 monitoring tools like the Meraki dashboard mm -hmm. that can be, you can use for making sure it's up and running and then doing health checks every now and then is going to ensure that there are no surprises. And that's what we all want. Yeah. That's what we all yeah. want. This has been fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. Um, before we wrap up, is there anything that you would like to share with everyone about how they can get in touch with it, how learn more about the products? Absolutely. So we have uh, we have a ton of great videos in YouTube. So you can find our uh, uh, webpage ekaha.com, where we have links to this material, and we do regular webinars once in every two weeks, uh, where we are talking about new and interesting and really cool stuff. Fantastic. Thank you so much again for being here. I really appreciate it. And Thank thanks you. everyone for watching. If you want to learn more information about developer tools, I can go to developer.cisco.com slash Cisco Live.